Cheers! This video is to help you with the Bader comma corrector spacing and also if you are deciding to buy a comma corrector why you should choose the, the Bader. Uh, I got to tell you I'm very happy with the results of this comma corrector. I was skeptical at the beginning because the need of uh, having spacers and changing spacers and that stuff but I was wrong. Uh, the, if you manage a way to, to have a fixed system like I have and just change eyepieces and, and cameras, you will be fine. And also better than the, 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 tune, uh, the tuning uh, feature of the Paracore or the Explore Scientific comma corrector. Uh, I was wrong about that. And I'm, I'm glad uh, I was. So, what I do is, I have uh, this extension, uh, it's a low profile one, it's 40 millimeters. Uh, and I have here a spacer and the bader comma corrector. The bader uh, comma corrector is always here and attached to the, the focuser. My setup is a, an F5 uh, 12 inch dog and it works very well. Um, I was uh, surprised with many people uh, complaining about the, this comma corrector and I risk many people because I saw it. I saw many, many people doing the, ra the wrong measures. So I risk many people struggle and, and didn't like the, the comma corrector, not because the product itself, but because they don't know how to properly use it. Uh, I have to tell you, I was at the beginning uh, thinking is the, the Paracore uh, uh, or x Scientific uh, worth it to me? To me, no, because this uh, has uh, four, four uh, times the, the less the price of the, um, of the Paracore, more or less. And um, I have an F5, so I risk buying this and uh, I'm glad I did it. Uh, I was happy with the, the little bit of coma I always had uh, in my eyepieces at the edges and I was okay with that. With the ZWO 224 no coma at all because it's a tiny sensor. But with the ZWO 294 uh, which has a, a, a large sensor um, it will improve for my EAA sessions. Also, from uh, for astrophotography, you will you will have the the stars all over the field uh, pinpoint, and uh, my EAA sessions with the nice stars, we it will help the software, which is SharpCap, uh, to align uh, to catch more stars uh, and align instead of like uh, the coma stars uh, at the edges, which happen on the, the 294. So, um, what I did. First, you gotta know that they, they send the, the, the bother with, um, with these adapters, which is basically the adapter to uh, this, uh, this is M48 thread, M48 thread. Uh, with this adapter, it changes to M42, so a T2, like the cameras, no? Uh, if you use uh, the, the adapter, you will have to work with a distance to the sensor from here, the, the comma corrector thread, to the sensor uh, of uh, 55 millimeters. But, and I think this is the problem with many people, if you take it out like I did and use, uh, I just use uh, two inch and use with the uh, with M42, it will not be 55 millimeters, the distance, but uh, 57 and a half. So aware of that, to the sensor, which means that, for example, the 224, which means that you have to know, because you are, are going to make the measurements from here, no? You, you, you will not do here, you will do from here to the, to the, um, the thread of the comma corrector. 
So, you gotta know the distance inside to the sensor, from the flange here to the sensor. And in the 2 to 4 is 5 millimeters. Not the wrong measures that I saw in forums all over the place. It's 5 millimeters here inside. The 294 it's 6.5. That measures are in the ZWO website, in the specs of each camera. But what I think is the people make the wrong spacing because they, they read uh, the measures at the, uh, a wrong way. Five millimeters. You point in the paper. If you have a ZWO, five millimeters inside until the flange and six and a half with a 294, the ZWO 294. You just need to know, to know that. Don't work with the, the caliper. No, you work with the flange until the, the comma corrector. For example, you can uh, uh, put your imagination at work. This has a, a reducer also here. Doesn't matter because I use, if you use only spacing, you just have to put space until you, you got uh, 57 and a half less the, six, the, the five millimeters inside. So you will have to be here uh, 52 and a half. Okay, then you add the, the five millimeters and you have the distance, the properly distance. So 52 and a half. Note that the, that father said, and it's true, that you have one millimeter up or down in, uh, in tolerance. So you can, if, in this case, I, I need to have 52 and a half from the flange to the, the bottom, uh, MPCC. But if I have 53 and a half or 51 and a half, it will work the same way, okay. And it worked for me, okay, uh, uh, with uh, a bit of difference. As long as it is just until one millimeter, you, you will be fine. So I decided to have a fixed Bother, corrector in my scope, so I don't have, I don't touch it. It's always attached and just change cameras and eyepieces. Very nice. So I change, I put the camera. Okay, now let let's see the measures. Huh? What we know, five millimeters here. So we need fifty-two and a half until here, the thread, the M48 thread here, here, not the spacing. This is a spacer I put, and this is a spacer too. It's an extension, works as a spacer. So, could be a, a filter wheel or whatever. You have to, to, be, to have uh, 52 and a half here. And I measure with one millimeter tolerance. I have 53 and a half. So, it's in the measures uh, because it will give 50, three and a half and five millimeters will be 58 and a half. It's only one millimeter more than the 57 and a half the ladder uh, recommends. So it works fine. If I put the 294, I want to explain this very well because this video is mainly to help people that struggle with it. The experienced guys will be okay. So the 294, for example, if I put, I put spacer seal, uh, I have the, the bother uh, UV IR cut uh, L filter in both cameras. That doesn't matter, works as a spacer too. Now I put here, I like this, this um, setup because I can have this with less spacers or not. It doesn't matter because at the end, it will be like this, you know, the, the measure I want. If you need to, the space to be like a little bit out, you put some spacers inside just until you get here. And you can also use this, the rings. This, these are clamping rings that you can put here. They have five millimeters. And if you put here, also work as a spacing because it will be the camera like this with a five millimeters ring here. You, you can play with many, in many ways. So I did it like this. The, the purpose is to change eyepieces and, and uh, cameras without having to, to change spacers and touching the, the comma corrector. 
and this is better than tuning for me so i i did like this i put the spacers i have the spacer already here i i measure and i have 52 from here to here 52 with six and a half it will be 58 and a half so it will be in the measures of the um, of other recommendations now you play until you find a setup for the the extension that will work with all your eyepieces and uh, of course if you if you're a guy that have two boxes of eyepieces like many guys do i have two eyepieces i don't, know, don't need more i maybe have more in the future but for now i don't need it now for example the nine millimeters from explore scientific explore scientific from for all the their eyepieces they give you the the position of the field of view and you got to know that to a better uh, instead of trial and error you know already the the measure so i played with space here with spacers until i got you can play with spacers the eyepiece will be more out or in depending of the spacers you use and i got i play with it in explore scientific you got to measure and take in this case three millimeters in other eyepieces are different you can add or take i don't know but uh, uh, until you get and uh, it, it's i love it <clears throat> this comma corrector with this eyepiece it's lovely and if you put a barrel i can take this and put the barrel the explore scientific barrel i have which is excellent and man the pinpoint all the all the in all the field of view and more sharpness image even with a barrel which was uh, hard to get in many nights but uh, now i get it and and i'm very very ha happy with it so for example we'll, with my omega the 32 millimeters i i have a video uh, with a review about this nice and inexpensive eyepiece with this one i didn't know where was the field of view so i had to try i tried with trial and error until i got the space the correct spacing for that actually it was simply to put after a try many situations just add this uh, adapter just a single adapter uh, of two two inch uh, adapter m48 it, it has uh, about uh, 35 i think yes 35 and with this eyepiece with this adapter this 35 adapter m m48 to m48 it will have pinpoint stars all over the field all over the field which is excellent so with a an inexpensive uh, comma corrector i can upgrade in a way my eyepieces to better quality eyepieces and also the image in the camera and the eaa sessions and everything so is it worth it is it worth it of course it is of course it is especially because I, I don't have to do nothing more. I just change and uh, I keep this in, in the focuser. And uh, what can I say? It's, it's excellent. Uh, works very well with the cameras and, uh, and works very well with the eyepieces. So please do the proper spacing. Uh, I remember 55 to the sensor with a T2 adapter, 57 and a half to the sensor with the, without the, the, the adapter, just with a, with a comma corrector as it is. You know? And then you play with spacing. And if you have a setup like mine, a 12 inch dog F5, it's impossible it, it uh, didn't work for you. If it didn't work, it's not impossible. If it didn't work, it's because 
something you're doing wrong. Please uh, check, point in the in the paper the the measures I gave: five millimeters to the ZWO224, six and a half to the um, the ZWO294, and you will be fine. So it's a goodbye. I hope you enjoy. Cheers.